In this video, I am going to teach you all the basics of email management so that by the end of this video, you will have all the basic knowledge you have to start offering email management service to client as a virtual assistant. First of all, there are many email providers, but the most common ones are Gmail, Outlook.com and Yahoo.com. And the most common one of these three is Gmail. Most people use Gmail. And if you know how to use Gmail properly, then you won't have much trouble learning how to use Outlook or Yahoo.com. So in this video, I'm going to focus on teaching you how to use Gmail. I'm going to share my screen and show you all the basics from sending and receiving emails to email forwarding, adding labels, archiving emails, marking as important, and also unsubscribing from unwanted newsletter. So without any more delay, I will share my screen and we can get started. Okay, now I am in one of my Gmail account and the very first thing we are going to start is we are going to start with sending an email. If you want to send an email and you log into your client Gmail account, the first thing you shall do is you shall click compose this big button right here. When you click on it, a box will open where you are going to write your email. Okay, this first field where it says to, this is where you are going to write the email of the person you are sending the email to. I'm going to send this email to one of my email account. So I'm going to write the email here. Okay, you see I'm sending my email to this email account. And the next thing that you will see is this CC and BCC. If you click on CC, it means you are going to copy someone to the email. If you add another email here, then the email you sent is also going to be sent to this person. The person that you add here is also going to receive the email the same way. And this person that you added right here is going to see that you send the email to this person and then you copy them. For example, if I add my other email, The email I am sending it initially to this person, but I am copying this person so that this person is going to know that I copy this person to the email. And this person is also going to know that I sent the email to this person and I copy them. And both of them can reply to the email. And the next thing is BCC. Or before we even get to the BCC, you can copy as many people as you like. I don't know if there is a limit to how many people you can copy to an email but I'm sure you can copy a lot of people. So if you want to add another person, if you want to copy someone else to the email again, then you just write their email here and you are copying them to the email. And the next thing is this BCC. When you click this BCC, you can add another email. And what this means is if you add another email to this BCC field, then the person that you add here will receive the email the same way these two people receive the email. But this person is not going to know that you send the email to this person. And this person will also not going to know that you send the email to this person. Nobody will know that you copy this person to the email if you add an email to BCC. Okay, the next field is subject. This is very important. I personally receive some emails from subscribers sometimes and the emails come without a subject. And this is really not good. If you send an email without a subject, the email is going to scream on professional. Empty subject is like writing on professional. So you shouldn't send any email without a subject. And the subject is simply is a title of the email that you wrote here. So whatever you are, if you are sending a proposal, you write a proposal. If you are following up or if you are proposing a partnership, then you write partnership proposal. Since I am sending this email as a test, then I am going to write the subject to be testing email for YouTube tutorial because that is what this email is. And when you write your subject, the next thing is you write your actual body the actual email that you are going to send. And for this test email, I am going to say, okay, I'm going to leave it short like this, just to give you an idea of how to write an email in the email box. Whatever you write, 
you write it right here and what is up here is going to be your email subject when you finish writing your email if you want to include some pile if you want to send this email maybe you want to attach a document a word document or a pdf this is where you are going to do that you are when you click this icon you see it said attach pile when you click on it your folders is going to open in your computer and you can simply find a file that you want to send if you save maybe if you save the file in your download section you can find it click on it and click open it to add it to your email make sure you wait for it to finish attaching when that when that blue bar finish it means the file had been attached if you want to add another attachment then you simply click attach files again and you import and attach your file before you send an email you can review everything make sure you are sending from a correct email and you are sending to the right person and you are copying the right people and you write your subject and your email body is written correctly and you attach all the necessary files when you make sure everything is right you simply click send and your email will be sent if you want to see the emails you sent you can come to the sent folder when you click on it you can see your sent email right here this is the email we wrote this is the email we send from and we send it to this email and we copied this email to it and this is the attachment that we added okay this is everything you need to know about sending emails the next thing we are going to look at we are going to see how you can receive an email and how you can forward an email to another address okay let's see how we can do that when somebody send you an email it is going to appear under primary if it's a promotional email something like a newsletter if you are subscribed to a newsletter it is going to be under promotion if the email is from facebook or instagram or any other social platform it is going to be under social tab but if you are receiving normal emails from other people it is going to be under primary and when you receive an email you are going to see it appear at the top all the emails that are in a little gray it means you open them but the emails that are completely white it means you did not open them you can see i did not open this email i did not open this one this one this one and this one but the rest of the emails i open them okay let's open this email and we can see the content of the email when you click on it the email has opened and you can read the email if you want to forward the email to another address forwarding means sending so if you want to send this exact email to someone else let's say you receive this email from your client inbox and this email is very important you want to forward it to the to your client personal email inbox that they personally check then you click forward when you click forward you simply write the email address the email address of the person you are forwarding the email to if you want to add if you want to copy other people you click cc if you want to copy other people in blank carbon copy so that nobody see their email you also add them to cc to bcc and when you you don't really need to add anything but you can write a comment if you write a comment something like hey this is the email i received and i believe this email is important it needs your attention something like this you can write you write your comment here and click send and you will forward this email to whoever you want to forward the email to you are going to be forwarding emails a lot when you do email management because you are managing your client email inbox and usually you will be managing an email inbox that has a lot of attention that a lot of people are sending emails to and your client have their own personal email that not many people know about so whenever you receive a very important email that need their attention you have to forward the email to their own email inbox so that they can check it out next i'm going to show you how to create labels so that your email inbox is going to be a lot more organized and it will be easier to work with okay let's get back to it we are going to create three labels we are going to create to read label we are going to create a follow up and we are going to create a waiting response okay to create our labels we are going to come to this sidebar where it says label and we are going to click this plus icon the first label we are going to create is to read and we are going to create this label so that we know any email that is under this label it need attention we need to read it 
and take some action and we don't need to nest it under any other label so we simply click create and the next label we are going to create is going to be a waiting response I am adding this bracket so that these labels are going to be at the top. You see, even if I have other labels, these labels are going to be at the top because of that bracket. Okay, the next label we are going to create is going to be follow up. Okay, now we are going to move emails. We are going to start moving emails to these labels. And the reason why we are going to move emails here is we are not going to miss anything. When we, re when we receive any email that we know we need to get back to, for example, if I read this email, I know I need to take some action, but uh, I'm not ready to take the action right now. I can move it to, to read so that I know it is there waiting for me. Anytime I'm ready, I'm going to go to, to read and see all the emails that I need to read and take some action. And follow up label we are going to add emails that we are waiting for a follow up and the next label is going to be a waiting response and the next thing we are going to change the color of each label so that we can identify them easily and we can do that by clicking this three dots when we click on it we come to the top where it says label color and we are going to choose a color from here for this one a waiting response I am going to choose this orange for a follow up, I am going to choose this. For a to read, I am going to choose. Let's choose this blue. Okay, so you see now our emails, now our labels are more clear and we can see them better. Okay, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to move emails to the appropriate labels. Let me start with this one. This is my client's email. I'm going to move it to to read because I need to take some action. So I'm going to click here, move to, and I'm going to move it to to read. You see when I do that, the email disappear from here. The next email I'm going to move, I can mark emails from here. So I'm going to mark this one. And this one, I'm going to move these two emails to follow up. So I click move to and I choose follow off. You see they disappear. And the next one we are going to do is a waiting response. We are going to choose this email and we are going to move it to a waiting response. Okay, you see when we click here, we are going to see all the emails that are awaiting our response. When we click follow off, we are going to see the emails that are in follow up. When we click to read, we are going to see emails that we need to read. The next thing we are going to do now is to make sure every email has been moved to the appropriate label so that we are not going to miss anything. The reason why adding labels is important is when you work with a client who is a public figure, they are going to be receiving tons of emails and you cannot take care of every email instantly. So it will be easy for you to miss an email, to miss some emails even. And that is why you should create labels and you move any email to the appropriate label so that you are never going to miss anything. You know the emails you need to read and take some action. You need the emails that require follow up and you know the emails that are awaiting response. This way you are not going to miss anything. The next thing I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you how to unsubscribe from unwanted newsletter. And many times you are going to use a contact form on a different website to contact someone or you interact with the website in a different way or you even place an order and the website is going to add you to their newsletter and they will be sending you email newsletter and email newsletter a lot of times it is just going to be a waste of time and so that is why unsubscribing from email newsletter is something that you are going to be doing for your client and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, when you are in the email, when you receive an email that is a newsletter email and you want to unsubscribe to, let me 
take this one for as an example there are two places to unsubscribe from a newsletter sometimes you will see an unsubscribe button at the top and if you didn't see an unsubscribe button at the top you can scroll to the bottom and you will see an unsubscribe button it will be almost hidden but you will find it when you scroll to the bottom of an email either one you click either at the top or at the bottom it is going to unsubscribe you from receiving the emails and that means you are no longer going to receive emails from the person who sent you the email newsletter and you can simply click unsubscribe and we confirm on subscription and that is it we are not going to receive these emails again from this newsletter okay the next thing i'm going to show you now is i'm going to show you how to archive emails how to archive all the emails that no longer need your attention so that your email inbox is not going to be cluttered okay when you are in your email inbox the first thing is make sure every email that is here you are finished with it if you are not done with the email you move it to a label if you need to create another label you can create another label and move the emails to every email that is in your primary inbox you finish with it you don't need it anymore then the next thing is to archive the emails and we can do that by selecting here when you click the checkbox here it is going to select all the emails on the first page but that is not all we in total we have 191 conversations so you click select all so that you select all the emails and then you come to the top and click this archive button then you click the archive button all the emails in this folder primary folder are going to be archived and this might take a minute depending on the number of emails that you have in your primary inbox but you just give it a few minutes and when it finish you will have a clean inbox okay you can see we archive all the emails right now we have nothing in our primary tab so this is going to be a lot easier for us to manage the email if we don't have too many emails often or too many emails that are cluttering our primary inbox and when you want to check out the emails you need to read you simply click this label to read and you will see all the emails that you move to to read and when you want to see the emails that need follow up you click here and you are going to see the emails and the emails that are awaiting response you click here and you are going to see the emails also so that is it this is how you write how you send an email how you receive emails how you unsubscribe from newsletter how you archive emails and create labels if you know how to do this then you are ready to start taking client you are ready to start taking email management client but remember everything gets better by time you will not be great at it the day you started even though i showed you everything that all the basics you need it is going to take you some time and practice for it to be like a second nature to you so the key point is just get started and keep improving and you will be perfect at it in no time next you can watch this video to learn about the best way of finding a client as a new virtual assistant if you find the video helpful please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe i will see you in the next one